Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning motivational on Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. So I do apologize again for my fan is like right over there. <laughs> so it's kind of close. So if you can hear it, I do apologize. Um, this morning you are looking at my newest Boggy Creek blanket, even though I haven't finished the other one. But long story short, I needed to start this one. Uh, but this is just a sneak peek. Later today I will show what I have done to it already, but this is a little sneak peek. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's dive into our morning motivationals. Our first one is, the adventure of life is to learn. The purpose of life is to grow. The nature of life is to change. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life is what dies inside while still alive. <clears throat> Never surrender. If life were predictable, it would be it would cease to be life and be without flavor. Eleanor Roosevelt. Never be afraid to start over. It's a chance to rebuild your life the way you wanted all along. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Unlike a drop of water, which loses its identity when it joins the ocean, man does not lose his being in society in which he lives. Man's life is independent. He is born not for the development of the society alone, but for the department of his self. Huh. I like that one. Don't stop dreaming. Okay. In the end, we only regret the changes we don't take. Chances we don't take. My mission in life is not to merely to survive, but to thrive and do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Every saint has a past. And every sinner has a future. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Mark Twain. Life is much better when you are living in the present moment. Just believe in yourself, even if you don't pretend that you do, and at some point you will. Stop chasing the wrong one. The right one won't run. Follow your dreams. Don't let anyone clip your wings, no matter who they are or who they think they are. I like that. If you guys were here for just the morning motivationals, I appreciate you. If you're here for the Bible verses and the prayers, let's continue. If my computer will stop acting crazy. <laughs> okay, there we go. I have been crucified with Christ and I am no longer, and I no longer live but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave me of and gave himself for me. Sorry, I'm a little tongue tied this morning. Galatians two twenty. 
As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Proverbs 27, 19. I moved a little, sorry. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews 11, 1. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22, and 23. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah forty thirty one. Stay awake, stand firm in your faith, be brave, be strong, everything should be done in love. First Corinthians sixteen thirteen through fourteen. God promises to make something good out of the storm that brings devastation in your life. Romans eight twenty eight, Amen. Love that one. Faith in good works. If our faith does not lead us to do good things, then it is not worth anything. It is dead. James two seventeen. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your comings and goings, both now and forevermore. Psalms 121, 7 and 8. And now on to Zippel's. What's the day? Whee. My computer's taking its time today. I do apologize. Okay, let's go down this way. Okay. A prayer for God's presence. May those in our community who are tired and overwhelmed find you to be a close comfort. Show them that you are walking beside them, carrying them through today. Amen. Dear God, I know that I'm not perfect. I know sometimes I forget to pray. I know I have questions my faith. I know sometimes I lose my temper, but thank you for loving me unconditionally and giving me another day to start over again. Amen. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to do one more. Let's see. God heard your prayers. God can feel your pain. He knows that you are overwhelmed, exhausted, and worried about how everything is going to work out. God is saying to you today, trust me, I will get you through this season. I will fix what is broke. Rest in me. Amen. Okay, guys. I hope you had... I hope... uh, I hope you enjoyed that today. I hope it helped you in some sort of way. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at the yarn. The blanket in, in the works. Um, and um, I really hope so- you got something out of that today. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, one small act of kindness. You never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple smile or a simple hello, you never know that may be just what they need today. Love you all. Love each other. Bye for now.